What's up everybody? This is our third tutorial about .NET Intermediate Language. In our first tutorial, we learned what is intermediate language, how to write our intermediate language code. And in our second tutorial, we talked about intermediate language from the stack perspective, stack-oriented intermediate language. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn things from the object-oriented perspective, okay? We are going to write object-oriented intermediate language code. Let's get started. As always, we'll use Notepad++ for our development and also Intermediate Language Assembler, okay? For the Notepad++, just go to the file, new, or from here, just select the new and go file, save as. Let's go to our folder. I always store my files in C.NET app. Let's select from the type, all type, and let's type OOP il.il okay object oriented intermediate language code okay cool so let's start our development uh, for the development we already know that we should specify first our external resources so the external libraries dot assembly extern ms core lib great so we'll use methods and also inherit will inherit from the system object so we need to add reference to our ms core lib and also let's go to our assembly oopil and this is our assembly name and for the module i will use the same name with exe extension great what I'm planning to do, I want to create special calculator class that will calculate two numbers, sum them, okay? For that purpose, I'm going to create a class called calculator. This class will extend our MS core leaps system that object. Great. Let's string this way. This look like the JavaScript code. Okay. And for the classes, we know that we need to have instance and we create this instance using our constructor. The constructor is also a method. For that reason, we are creating a special type of method that will not return anything. So method void, and this should be our constructor. Okay, this is our method constructor. Of course, let's mark it with public and let's just return. This is just a, a snippet to help us to create an instance of calculator in the future. Okay, and uh, the next method we need here actually will calculate two numbers. So this method is going to be public. This is float32. Let's use the sum and this method will accept two arguments okay uh to add two arguments to our signature we just need to specify the type there is no need to specify uh an argument you should specify just types okay so it means we'll have two arguments and they both will be in a float 32 okay and for this method we are going to load argument one the first argument and load argument two let's load these arguments into our stack and let's sum them and just return that's how we are creating our simple calculator okay cool now let's do a bit formatting here Okay, and in our case, I will create another class that is going to be our entry point. In this case, when I compile this application, it will say that there is no entry point. Let's check for it. So I uh, let's hit Control S to save it. Go to Developer Command Prompt. Let's do a little bit zoom. L dasm c dot net app this is our oopil dot il hit enter oops sorry it should be l asm l asm hit enter so you see failure 
no entry point declared for executable so for the executable file there is uh, there should be some entry point we don't have entry point right now we are going to create it as a separate class so class public this is our program class that will extend our ms core leaps system object like here okay all classes inherit from system object in our case and we'll have a method that's going to be our entry point public static void main string arguments okay and this is going to be our entry point entry point cool now we have entry point what we need to do let's see this entry point uh, solved our issue or not i'm just going to do the lsm and now you see operation completed successful but right now we don't have any operation first we need to instantiate our calculator and then call it is some method and provide two data for it to do the operation okay and for that reason we have special uh instruction here called new obg this is our new object and this is going to be our instance okay this instance is void instance why because we are going to call our constructor first to construct our calculator so you should specify void and let's call our calculators constructor here so you see this is our calculator and we are calling our calculators construct method okay now we have constructed our um instance let's using ldc we already know about ldc this is our load constant uh, for r4 is going to be our float 32 value i want to use 4.5 and ldc r4 uh, 45 67 now i have two values here and i just want to call my instances uh some method here okay so let's call instance it will return float 32 it is going to be my calculators sum where i am going to provide this float 32 and float 32 value it means right now in our stack we have these two values okay the first value the second value and this will take these two information from stack and provide it to our calculators sum okay that's how we are interacting with uh stack in this case great now we have these two values and they are in stack using add so let's call our instruction call void let's refer to ms core leap system console right line and float 32 and after that let's just call our string ms core lib it means we instantiated our uh, class here okay now we have two values uh, we are calling our calculators sum to provide these two values here and we now we have the calculated result in our stack and instead of calling this stack we need to call console's right line to get this uh, last stack value okay and using system dot console oops sorry system dot console realign we will do some break here and let's clear our stack and let's return that should be all about our operation let's just compile it so operation completed successfully uh let's just now call our application you can directly do it from the um, folder c.net app 
Let's go open IL, click, and here we are. This is our result of calculation, this float value. That's how we are doing object oriented. This is just introduction for object oriented intermediate language. So we have uh, object initialization here. We have, uh, we are calling our sum method from the instance and the rest of the things we have already talked about. Well, that's almost all. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe, hit like button, uh, share if possible. See you in the next tutorials.